The United Nations has voiced concerns about the escalation of violence in Ethiopia and recent declaration of a state of emergency. Speaking to reporters today in New York, UN spokesperson Farhan Haq said the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres notes that the stability of Ethiopia and the wider region is at stake. Haq said the Secretary General reiterated his call for an immediate cessation of hostilities, unrestricted humanitarian access to deliver urgent life-saving assistance and inclusive dialogue to resolve the crisis. In a statement we issued last night, the Secretary General voiced his concern at the escalation of violence in Ethiopia and the recent declaration of a state of emergency. The stability of Ethiopia and the wider region is at stake, he said. The Secretary General reiterated his call for an immediate cessation of hostilities, unrestricted humanitarian access to deliver urgent life-saving assistance, and an inclusive dialogue to resolve this crisis and create the foundation for peace and stability throughout the country. And the Secretary General notes the extremely serious findings of the Joint Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights uh, Ethiopian Human Rights Commission investigation, released today de detailing that all parties to the Tigray conflict have committed violations of international human rights, humanitarian, and refugee law. The Secretary General is deeply concerned that the recent escalation and widening of armed conflict and the declaration of the state of emergency will only aggravate the human rights situation of the people of Ethiopia. He calls once again for the fighting to stop immediately. The Secretary General stresses that ultimately, the current crisis in Ethiopia can only be resolved around the negotiation table and by including all of Ethiopia's people and leaders. Uh, I'd like to add on that report that the High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michelle Bachelet, said the gravity and seriousness of the violations and abuses documented underscore the need to hold perpetrators accountable on all sides. She also said today that she fears such horrific violence, violations and abuses are continuing based on the consistent reports that are emerging. We're, we've been in touch throughout with both the de facto authorities in different areas and with the government of Ethiopia. Now the point is that from them we need uh, unrestricted humanitarian access in order to deliver the, the aid that we have. We do not have that at present, and, uh, but we are working to arrange that and, and we're working again with the government uh, and with the parties, including uh, the parties in, uh, in uh, Tigray and around it, that the various parties are saying that the situation on the ground is, is too unsafe to allow mm -hmm. uh, for uh, certain types of access. We, and we want, first of all, for, the, for a certain amount of s stability to be restored uh, through a cessation of hostilities. But, but beyond that, we want to have the unrestricted humanitarian access uh, that, uh, to, be on, to be honest, we have not had for many weeks now, even, even prior to the problems with the humanitarian air service. As you know, we, we had uh, problems getting some supplies in, and, and we want to go back to a, a situation where we can get everything that's needed.